on this episode of Value This with Dr. Lori. We're getting hot, hot stuff is what we're gonna talk about. What do you think, Carol? <laughs> I like it, I'm ready to go to the hearth. <laughs> Today on Value This with Dr. Lori, hearth accoutrements. Yes, hearth accoutrements. Yes, all the stuff that goes with a fireplace, such as bellows. And right. What do you have? Home is where the hearth is. Home right? is where the hearth is. Well, the hearth was that idea of the of the middle. I've got a poker, and I've also you know poked the logs, and I've also got again, of course, the shovel, so you can shovel out the ashes. Do people collect this stuff? Like they'll have a million and irons because there's some really cute ones down yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And irons are very collectible, but basically it's part of a set where you can have again hand wrought iron pieces, or you can have them in you know whether you have them in brass or whatever you like for how you want your hearth to look. Bellows are very important too, of course. Make sure that the fire keeps going. Right. It also, the hearth is also a place, not only for the fire, but also for the stove. One of the things that I noticed, this heavy thing, an iron. I mean, these the old fashioned irons, unbelievable. How did That's these work? Right. Old fashioned, of course, clothing irons. And this particular one would sit on a stove like this, maybe directly to the stove, but it also could sit on a plate like that. It might be a small iron for uh, this tiny one there. Be careful because it's going to be hot. <laughs> Not that oh, hot. Okay, honey. And then basically, the these also could have the iron right on top of okay, it. Okay, well, this right? is alarming, but I see that you put it on. It says asbestos on it. That's right, and it has asbestos in it. Okay, should people collect these or keep these in, in their house if it's got asbestos in it? If the asbestos has not started to seep out, it's fine. It's the same principle that they tell you about asbestos now. That idea is if you don't bother it, it should be fine. But if you start to see the little white specks of the asbestos coming out, you want to make sure you get rid of it. How do you get rid of it? You have to call your poison control folks and make sure that you're not just dumping it in with the regular trash. Okay, There's so a way a to do that like, properly. Right. So a thing like this that is contained. Contained and fine, probably fine. Dates to about 1900 to about 1910, as all of these irons do. And basically what they would do is this could be the bottom of the iron and then you would have a, a handle like this wooden handle. You'd attach it and that's what you would use because asbestos, of course, okay. would Retard and you fire. said a lot of people have these things. Is there value? Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, I see them anywhere between ten and twenty dollars each. People use them as decorations. People use them as door stops. I see them a lot. They're cast iron. They're a lovely look. People like them for that sort of colonial American right, look. Right. What I want you to focus on are things like the bellows collectible. Are things like the fireplace um, accessories, like this set over here, which is of what would make one, one more collectible than another. Okay. One. Quality of materials because this is very high in quality in terms of the materials and it's the complete set so value on that set is going to be just about three hundred and fifty dollars whereas the and irons can be as much as twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars for a set of and irons and irons sit in the fireplace and the logs sit on top of the and irons and then you can basically move using the poker the logs while they're still hot on the and irons they don't sit at the bottom of right. the fireplace and make a big what mess. makes a valuable and iron I mean what should people okay. look for figures usually figures of, in fact, soldiers. Some of the great ones around the Philadelphia area are those which are actually cast iron and they are figures of um, Minutemen, colonial American Revolutionary War time soldiers. And basically any type of animal usually brings, again, pretty significant value. You have to have the pair. Okay. Now, if you've got one of these more valuable sets, do you bother to use it in your fireplace. It won't hurt it either won't. way. It won't. won't hurt it either way because they're made of cast iron. They're intended to be functional objects. You could say, oh, I'm going to put it in the fireplace and never use the fireplace, but lots of people use them. Lots of collectors use them. And it doesn't impact value negatively. And there are people who collect for fireplaces. Yes. Yes. There are people who collect for fireplaces within particular time periods. For example, Frank Lloyd Wright, the great architect, was known for his innovative fireplaces and designing whole rooms around fireplaces. So some people will only collect prairie style fireplace okay. objects. These fireplace objects actually are reproductions and some originals of the latter part of the Victorian era, the 1890s to about 1910 period. Okay, and yeah. I would imagine based on being cast iron, etc., that these things last forever, yeah. not a problem, and because they last forever, 
they're more likely to not be high in value because so many people could have them. Many people have them and they are relatively uh, collectible, but not high in value because a lot of people use them, functional objects. And I, this is totally off topic, but briefly, fireplace, do you ever put a painting over a fireplace? Never put a painting or a print over a fireplace. It's not a good idea ever. And the reason for it is too much heat. Okay, the heat rises and heat rises. Boop, boop. great <laughs> advice here on the fireplace and also yeah. about the asbestos. Uh, Collect thing. the sets of the fireplace collectibles and remember that you want to um, use them, but use them lovingly. Okay, like everything else in our lives. All right, Dr. Laurie, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.